She celebrated her 21st birthday earlier this week. She is appearing in her second Olympic Games, and she is the Japanese champion. Here is Yuka Sato. <laughs> Extremely well. Her opening move, her combination triple lutz into triple toe loop. Single lutz, that is so bad. That's an omission. You're supposed to at least do a double jump in this combination. When you don't complete the rotation, it's a severe deduction, 0.6. She chose this music because it makes her happy. This is a great straight line footwork sequence. It's one of the best in the event. She's a charmer, and that's a, a tough way to start with the omission of a combination jump. Yuka Sato, who spends part of the year in Ottawa with her coach, Peter Dunfield. And this is every skater's nightmare. This is split-second timing. It's called a pop. You're thinking you're going to triple, and it goes, nope. All of a sudden, a reflex action takes over. You know it's not going to happen, and you just open up and single the jump. The last time Nancy Kerrigan competed was on this ice at the Pirouetten competition in late October. She won that event. And she's ready to skate again. But first, we wait for the marks for Yuka Sato. The required elements marks for Yuka Sato. And again, you can only imagine without that 0.6 deduction what those would be. Overall, the program is very strong, but that error is very costly. The marks for presentation. And these do reflect the quality of the program. The spins were solid. The double axle was good. Presentation speed. I know she wants that triple X back. She's been hitting it all.